So in this Tyrannus quick tip, I'm going to show you how to set up a very simple throttle cut. Here we have a radio on a model that's actually already got the throttle cut set, and I've also assigned a sound to the same switch in the same position to let me know when I've got it set. So right now, if I go into the main screen, we can see that the throttle, which is channel three, goes all the way. If, however, I leave the throttle nice and high and flick the throttle cut switch, then the throttle stays on minus 100 until I re-enable it on the switch. Throttle active. So that's what we're going to set up very quickly in this video. So what we're going to do is select another model that doesn't have that set and we'll put it together. So here we have a model that has the four standard inputs, throttle, aileron, elevator and rudder. So you can see that the throttle is channel one. That's the one we need to turn off with a switch. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down until we get to special functions and we're going to create a special function for a particular switch. So we could um, select the switch that we want to put it on. I'm going to pop it on this switch at the back and I'm going to say when it's in the down position, actually when it's in the middle position, it is going to override a channel. And by default, it's actually going to override and that means it's actually going to overwrite channel one, which is great because that's the throttle channel. So we don't need to change that. We need to change the value though. So the throttle channel becomes minus 100, which is right the way down at the bottom. Last thing we need to do is we need to enable that mix. So if we come out of that, and if I flick that switch, then the throttle goes over to minus 100. So now it's dead. Now that's great, but it's nice to have a nice voice telling us that that's the case. So we can very quickly set up a voice alarm to let us know where it is. If we go out of here, back into the menu, this time we're going to go back into special functions. We're going to assign another action for that particular switch position. So we'll click enter, we'll put the switch back into the same spot. Enter again. This time, just like we did in the sound video, we're actually going to make it play a track. And the track that we get it to play is going to be one of the throttle ones. So there we go. So it says throttle disable. I think we'll only play it once. That makes sense. And the last thing to do then is set up another thing for the switch in the other position where it's going to be active again we'll come down we'll say play track and this time we'll say throttle active so now when i disable the throttle it says throttle disabled and now when i put it back so that it'll run the throttle so just to prove that that's working, let's click page a couple of times to get into the monitor screen. There's the throttle channel, channel one working. We're going to disable it. Throttle disabled. Then pop it back. Throttle active. That's the easiest way that I found to set that up. So hopefully for those of you that are looking at a quick and easy way to do it, that's how I've done it. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.